passports at the airport. What do you mean you threw them away? I didn't mean to. I thought I was throwing away the letter that I wrote you. But, um... What are you talking about? Well, it's a long story. It's not your money. Excuse me? It's not your money. People gave that money so we wouldn't be in danger, but we're not in danger, so technically it's their money, but they don't need to know that. So all I'm saying is definitely not yours. So now I got nothing again. You ruin everything. Well, why are you going to spend it anyway to pay our ransom? Well, of course. But, like, you clearly don't need it now. You don't care if we live or die. You're in your element, all the fame, all the attention. So long as you're still in the picture, but you can feel it all slipping away. That's why you want to hold on to all the cash. What? Like, you're so perfect. Maybe it's time the world knew a few home truths about you. Well, I think they learn even worse things about you. I don't care. I think you would. Look, how about this? Let's go 50-50. We take our share, get into Ecuador, turn up at the American Embassy, saying we've been released. You say you paid the ransom, keep the cash. We need evidence I paid the ransom. Where the evidence? We were kidnapped, and now we're free. They're not expecting receipts, are they, from a bunch of Ecuadorian kidnappers? Who did I give the money to? You didn't. You were told to leave it under a bridge because you didn't want to involve the police because they told you not to or they'd kill us, so you just left the money for collection under a bridge. What bridge? What, do you mean, what bridge? Any bridge. Oh, check. And they find no money there because the bad men came and took the money and gave it to the bad men that were kidnapping us. It works. Okay, then. 